I'd like Stonehenge to belong to everybody. It's a people's temple in a way that uh, sacred places that are still used by particular denominations cannot be. My involvement came about because I was the historian on the commission which ran the old-style English heritage when it was still a government quango. I became interested in the new visitor centre which English Heritage was constructing near Stonehenge, being the first proper heritage centre that had ever been designed and built near the monument. I was engaged as an advisor after I had given a keynote address to a big conference at Warwick University on heritage, at which I outlined a view of the prehistoric past in which we would never know what the religion was and what the ceremonies were that were conducted at the great monuments it had left us. And therefore, anybody's guess was as good as anybody else's, as long as it was based on the material evidence itself and therefore as many different explanations as we could have, the healthier the situation would be. On that basis, I was engaged as academic advisor to the construction of the Heritage Centre, and in particular, I had input on the design of its exhibition space. The exhibition space really is for the serious-minded visitor, meaning that uh, pretty well everybody goes through the big, high-tech interpretations of the monument as a space, that is, seeing how it was built, seeing it through various seasons. The exhibition space is for those who want a bit of extra experience and ask some extra questions, like why. I think that our culture has a tremendous need to engage with the past, largely because in my lifetime the past has died and the sense that the moral picture, the sense of the world that our grandparents had is still largely relevant has gone and therefore we're cut off from the past and so the need to engage with it directly through archaeology, history, reenactment, heritage is new and very powerful. I don't claim to understand Stonehenge better than most people, or indeed than anybody. I would like people who visit Stonehenge to take away an enhanced sense of how mysterious it is, and the huge range of options, the huge range of ways in which we can see it for ourselves, and to feel empowered to be able to develop their own personal visions.